So there's the man. Matthew uh, Madsen. Very much at the beginning of his career. 22 years of age. He has a personal best in the first examination, the snatch, of 127 kilos. And, of course, as we mentioned, not just the fact that he now knows Precious McKenzie and Precious McKenzie now knows him, but the whole family, particularly with his dad, they're sort of steeped in the world of weightlifting. And we keep hearing that time and time again, how much this has to do with strong families involved in weightlifting. It really seems to be the fact that, you know, maybe a parent starts and then children follow or vice versa. But already the cat and mouse has started because the bar has gone up for uh, Matthew from 123 to 125. And so it's now the Cypriot, Alexandros Amanatidis, who comes on to open up at 125 kilos. Now, rewind four years ago, in this particular part of the competition, he actually picked up 132 kilos. And that, to this day, remains his personal best. And the national record. But now he's 27. Can he go further today? Running out of time. I think he's got a shot at beating that 132 mark if all of his lifts are that technically sound. So the New Zealander also wants 125 kilos. Now just, it's very early days, but just to get you in the mood of things, uh, the Cypriot weighed in at 76.55. So here comes Matthew Madison, who weighed in at 76.80. So if he gets this, he's equal in kilos, but ranked only second. The difference is, this is his first Commonwealth Games. The man who started us off has got that much more experience. He's been on a Commonwealth stage before. Well, he didn't make it look like he was at all a newbie there. That was a very good lift. Yeah, lovely. Good way to start. 126 kilograms. Adam Story, the coach. Tina Bell, the manager. Explodes with the bar off and straight over his head, locks out. Good explosion, well executed. Nice to get the first one in. The bar for the Cypriot has gone to 130. So they're just deciding the Kiwis where they want to go. Now they have a certain amount of time in which to do this. That's right, they've got 30 seconds to make that change. Because at the moment it's sitting on 126, and that would be rubbish because he doesn't... And there you go, there's the entry going in now on the Chief Marshal's desk. That's in. Now, that's fine. They've now put it in, so they're safe. Whatever they've chosen to go for. OK, a cautious second attempt at 127. And still time to make one more change if they so choose, but unlikely. Well, he's skipped to his personal best of 127. And so if he gets this, then he can go for something brand new. And as we said, he's at the beginning of his career. And, you know, when I had a chat with him, he was having a bowl of soup after weighing in, which you're allowed to do. You're allowed to rehydrate, just get a little bit of energy in there. And, you know, his target tonight is really improving his personal best. His chance to perhaps go for the big medals will come four years hence in Brisbane at the next Commonwealth Games. That's right, a little closer to home. Hopefully he'll be able to bring some supporters along for the ride. Well, I'd love him to bring Precious McKenzie, wouldn't you? That would be something. I'll tell you what, if he walks in here now, Precious McKenzie, we would all stand. I think you're right about that. <laughs> so, in fact, it's gone to 128. 
And that's a three kilo increase, so he's going straight away now for a personal best. I'm much happier about that. He should be able to handle three extra kilos on the evidence of that first successful attempt. That's right, he has to just repeat that same technique, not change it. That's one thing athletes tend to do, is start thinking too much and changing their technique. Hi. Is the side effect. Oh, he wasn't a million miles away from saving that. I'm sure he can do that. That, yeah, there is no question. Just a little in front, not very much at all. Almost managed to hold on to it. Now, the next weight that's been posted is actually for the Cypriot lifter at 130. And if I look at the other first entries, they're ranging up from 132 to 135 to 142. So this is all part of the education. How do you deal with the two minutes? How do you get the correction sorted out in your head so you can go out there and in one fluent move, go get your new personal best. That's right, you don't have a lot of time at all. You really have to get good at shaking it off. You know, you might be crushed emotionally by the fact that you missed that weight that you thought you had, but you have to get over it right away and refocus all of your energy onto making this last lift and the snatch portion of the competition count. I must say one thing that is uh, really enjoyable about, about this competition is the way that we're allowed access to the athletes and the coaches and everybody is really hospitable. You ask and they say, okay, if the athlete's happy, you can have a little chat, but everybody is very accessible and very friendly. That's very true. They do call the Commonwealth Games the friendly games. Indeed. So, Matthew. Third in the Oceania Championships. Now, there, he actually collected 126 kilos. So he's got 125. He wants 128, and we want him to get it. That's right. We hope he can repeat what he did on that first attempt at 125. Show that same confidence. That was amazing. Well done. Isn't that so good? That is so good. It was really cool to see how he recomposed himself, came out, and just did a really solid lift. Tails back up. That's right. That's going to make the clean and jerk a lot more fun. So already a, a little bit of uh, changing here. The Cypriot went up to 130 for his second attempt, but now asking for 130 kilos will be the first of the two Malaysians. Well done, Mr. Madsen. But it's going to be Loro Puji representing Malaysia, just 18 years of age. A silver medalist this season at the Junior Asian Championships. Got a best of 132. In fact, the same as the Cypriot lifter. But he's nine years his junior. Just a little bit of nerves there, I think. Second attempt. Through the way back, but you could see that it clearly had the power to be a successful lift. Now, because the Cypriot lifter wants this for his second attempt, this gives this young man a little bit more time to sort himself out. That's an always a welcome yeah. save. Well, what he's got to avoid is the other conversation. Often, when you lose it behind, when you come back out, you lose it in front. That's right. You <laughs> want to get that baby bear or just right, right on the second lift. So, five kilo increase here for Amanatidis, and again, watch out for this man because he lets the clock run down. He does take his time. He does spend a lot of time in that squat position, and a lot of athletes don't like to do that because it does tax the legs. Oh! 
just about able to get his head a little further through in front of his arms in order to save that lift. Not quite, though. You made a very good point about this evening's competition before we got underway. Make your six lifts. It really does have that sort of feeling to it tonight. He who makes his lifts will profit at the end of the evening. That's right. So, the younger of the two Malaysians coming out now. Went to the Junior Worlds last year, had that experience in Lima, in Peru. Totaled up 264 on that occasion. Uh, well, it's effectively the same mistake again. I feel like he was a bit closer there, though. Seemed to have a bit more control as he controlled the weight down. He caught it high, was resisting, controlled it, but that buzzer went off in the middle of his lift, and I feel like he should have waited for that to go off before starting the lift. Well, that's why there's a, a clock on the floor at the same level as his eyes, so he can just look out of the corner of his right eye and see how much time that he's got left. But once that bar starts to move behind you, there's no way back. No, there's no holding on. And I mean, some athletes innately try to fight that gravity there. But as we see, that can have a big effect on your elbows. It can affect your ligaments. We saw a few athletes experience that already in this competition. Well, it's a long journey back to Sabah in Malaysia. And I really don't want this man to go back without a total. But he faces a moment of truth. And the question is how he's going to handle it. 45 seconds, so that is adequate. And yet again, the audience here perfectly understand the situation this young man finds himself in. Yes, it's a very scary situation, and you have to quiet your mind and not think about the consequences. Just put all of your energy into this lift while con maintaining control and precision. Not an easy task. And you're right, he overcompensated. Twice behind, once in front. Didn't manage to find that sweet spot right over. Yeah, very disappointing for him. But it means that he's eliminated because the Commonwealth Games only offers one set of medals. If you don't get a valid snatch, you can't get a total. And therefore, you are asked to retire. And he now becomes a spectator, but a very unhappy spectator. That's right. It's kind of like adding insult to injury when you don't even have a chance to turn around your day and your experience by completing that second portion of the competition. So the first appearance of the representative of Cameroon. This is Guy Ngongang. And asking for 132 kilos on the bar for his first attempt. Again, yes, another teenager and 132 to get underway. Well, he caught, that, he caught that really awkwardly. He caught it awkwardly, very powerful, but it looked like he threw himself down lower than he needed to be in order to receive that weight overhead. And I think that's what happened there. Just a little too aggressive, actually, for the snatch. Well, there's one or two who want this weight of 132, so he's going to get time. Have a look at this. So when you're catching the bar overhead, you really want to have your feet land on the ground as your arms extend, and that means meeting the bar at its highest point. So he definitely had that bar higher than where he caught it in the squat position, so it fell on him, unable to hold it when it fell on him. So Nigeria's Mamdum Seldom. First attempt, 132 kilos, and he's only three kilos short of what he did last November in the Commonwealth Championships in Malaysia when he did 135 on his way to a total of 300. That's the way to do it. Great technique. That is the way to do it. And again, it's really hard, you know, maybe a lot of these athletes in the warm-up can do that in the warm-up and at home, but it's hard to produce that on the platform. 
Nigeria, by the way, as a result of their gold and silver in the women's 63 kilos earlier today, have gone to the top of the weightlifting medal table. Oh, this is going to be a busy desk. Yes, this is where the traffic jam begins. So, Ngongang to try and make amends at 132 kilos. He just has to correct his timing here and this should be no problem. From the capital, Yaounde. A bit of the same there. Still getting it very high and going a little lower than he needs to right away. And all too soon, he finds himself in the same situation as Loro Puji of Malaysia was, what, not less than five minutes ago. Yes. Again, the worst situation to be in as an athlete in the sport of weightlifting. Yeah. Not much point taking it out on the bar. The bar didn't do anything to him. It's what he did to the bar. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. You definitely have to work with the bar. That's why we talk about timing so much. There is a little bit of a whip to the bar. And if you're able to use it to your advantage, lifting's a lot easier. You've got to think about the bar as your partner in this adventure. So he did this four years ago in Delhi. But more importantly, can he do it now? And you can see he's rolled the bar back a little bit just to give him a little bit more space on the front of the platform if he needs to walk forward a step or two. Close, but you know what? He added two more kilos. Maybe that wasn't the right move. No, and you know, he's slipped back down to 125 and with the men that haven't even started here, He's going to be a long way back, I predict, before we get to the clean and jerk. So even though he's got a decent clean and jerk, I think he's now very much under the cosh. Well, there's actually two athletes in the B group who have surpassed his mark at the snatch. That's not what he was looking for. Yeah, absolutely right. I mean, we've still got Jean-Marc Bellon, who total up 295 but actually took 138 kilos in the snatch absolutely right to remind us of that he is actually the leader at the moment so 132 kilos the second man within 10 minutes to have to save his day i really like how he's approaching this though he doesn't seem too rattled he looks focused And, wow, how do you pull that off with that much pressure? That was textbook lifting again. He's going to be very disappointed he didn't manage that on the first try because you can see he had room for much more. As I was saying before, timing is hard when you want to be aggressive and kamikaze and just rip that bar overhead, but you need to be precise. Luckily for him, the clean and jerk is more forgiving, and if he's that explosive today, he should post some great results. Well, the bar on one, three, five now. Sadly, the Malaysian team have lost Puji, but they've still got this man. And this is uh, Abdul Rahim. Now, it may be to his advantage now that he's got the entire Malaysian coaching team to himself. Well, that's a good way to reframe it, David. <laughs> You definitely have to find the silver lining anytime things turn in competition. And yes, this will be an advantage to him. So, one, three, five. Well, uh, for me, he should have saved that. He could have saved that. Yeah. It's hard to know with that kind of momentum where things will go if you try to hold on for too long. Two 
two athletes for the Cameroon in this competition and one who used to represent the Cameroon, now representing Australia. But this is Kachanki, who does represent the Cameroon Challenge. Fourth at 69 kilos four years ago in the competition won by Ravi Cotulu, who, like this man, has now moved up to 77 kilos. He listens to the last of the Mohican soundtrack when he's preparing to come out on stage. I actually thought that was a scream. That was so powerful, so much room for more weight in his next two attempts. Just turned 21 and lifting those weights like they're nothing. So the return of Rahim to take a second attempt at 135. So we're still at this particular moment three kilos short of Jean Marc Bellon's B division snatch of 138 kilos. Was it? See, that's the difference between a first attempt and a second attempt. Sometimes the only thing going on with that first attempt is nerves, not knowing what to expect when you step out on that platform for the first time. And even though we had a miss, he came out knowing what to expect, and he delivered. So the bar is going to go up a kilo to 100 and... Uh, in fact, uh, the Australian deciding he wants more. Well, this is the Cypriots just unloading to get ready for the clean and jerk. And he's being coached by his teammate who won gold just the other day. Yeah, Minasidis. So it's going to be Abdul Rahim who comes in again. And it's gone to 140 now for him. So this throws it back to uh, Francois Etundi of Australia. Well, here he is, the man who represented the Cameroon in the Commonwealth Games of 2006. Came fourth in that, but then immediately after the championships applied for asylum, was granted it and went to Delhi, where he had a really horrible accident forcing him to withdraw torn bicep muscle. What a thing to come back from. Clearly not affecting him anymore, David. That torn bicep is long forgotten. Into the arms of Yurik Sarkassian. <laughs> Member of the famous Hawthorne Club. Three big clubs in Australia. Hawthorne, Cougars and Phoenix. But probably Hawthorne houses most of or more of the elite athletes. That's right, and you can see a lot of that coaching team there at the side was from Hawthorne Club as well, including Sarkeesian. So getting ready to come in now, Jack the Snatch, Jack Oliver for uh, England, coached by Andrew Callard, eight, four years ago in Delhi, 10th in the Olympic Games, but he's really grown up. He said to me, 
about his nickname. It was early days when he used to enjoy the snatch. He doesn't enjoy the snatch now. What he likes doing is the clean and jerk where he can pile the weight on. And he is very much a player tonight. Based in Leeds. Sadly, his partner, Sarah Davis, earlier on in the women's 63, didn't have a good day. So that's another thing he just needs to keep out of his mind tonight. Well, she didn't have the worst day possible, so she's got that going for her. She definitely still got on the board with the total. Hey! 10 seconds. Well, he still has that ability to deliver on the snatch. Wow, what a great lift to start with. So he goes to one, three, eight. Now, the significance of the one, uh, three, eight is that he weighed in at 76.39 and Jean-Marc Bellon, Canada, 76.89. So now Jack Oliver, by virtue of body weight, lighter body weight, goes into first place. That's right, he's the first lifter to surpass the B group best. Mamdum Seldom of Nigeria taking a six kilo increase here. Now he weighed in at 76.98, so he's not gonna overtake Jack Oliver. And he's actually just gonna be going for second place because Jean-Marc Belden weighed in at 76.99. So second place, 138, second attempt. That still took 20 lifts in the A session to surpass Jean-Marc Bellin's lift of 138 in the earlier group. That shows you just how there may be an advantage to lifting in the B group rather than the A group when it gets to these big numbers. Noticeable on the scoreboard that the only two men who have yet to start are the two representatives of India. Both of them posting 142. And I, I looked at both of them side by side as they were resting on their benches. And I said, is it going to be a fight? And they went, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the honesty. <laughs> so Kachanka for Cameroon, 139 to nip into the lead on his second attempt. Oof. That Man. is such beautiful technique, and I'll tell you why. This kid started lifting when he was five years old with baby weights, as they called them, because his dad was a lifter, and it was a big tradition in the family. He's been lifting forever, and it shows. Do you know what that was? That was three points on your driving license and a 60-pound fine for the speed of this man. Amazing lifting, and I really want to reiterate that I think Getting kids to learn technique at five years old is what gets them into those positions perfectly stable. But he just whipped that bar off. Uh, that is crazy speed. So 139, looks as if it's for the Nigerians. They're just, uh, yeah, I thought there would be a change. And uh, seldom going up to 142. So he's going to have quite a wait with the two Indians due to come in on 142. So he's got quite a lot of time to relax. Meanwhile, it's going to be the lifter who now represents Australia with a three kilo increase. They're playing it very conservative here, but they are following that idea that most successful attempts will lead to the podium position. I did notice, actually, in the relaxation room, you having a little cozy chat with him. <laughs> That's right. He was telling me all about his training and oh, yeah. how his dad was also on the national team. Yes, of course he was. Spending a lot of time in that start position.
Well, he got it over his no, head yeah. quite easily, but the momentum was pulling him back. And again, it's such a He's fine like line between that ball perfect ball. spot Long and too far behind and unsavable. Well, he's got a chance to come back and a few moments relief here because Abdul Mubin Rahim wants to come in here at 140. So this is a five kilo increase. So Kachanka of the Cameroon with that 139. Very much in command at the moment. And he's still got an attempt left at 141. That's what he's posted for his next attempt. This is 140. Final attempt for the Malaysian. Same mistake. These are the crucial moments of the first half. These failures will determine where you are going into the clean and jerk. But you know, these weights, they're right on the best. They're right on 100% of these athletes' best lifts and just repeating your best lift when you're lifting this much weight, it's a big feat. Commonwealth Games snatch record, 148 kilos. Peter Yokio from Nauru said in Delhi, the outright Commonwealth record 157, also set by Peter Yokio back in May 2011 in Darwin. I wonder what it's like uh, lifting in Darwin. I hope it wasn't outside. That's a good question. <laughs> Only time I've been there. Boy, is it humid and hot. Never been. The land of the saltwater crocodile. Right. Kachanka coming in at 141. Well, I just want to see more and more of this guy. Right, be quiet. Actually commands the audience. <laughs> He's amazing to watch. <laughs> Unbelievable. I wish she had three more attempts. Yeah. That is spectacular lifting. Oh. Well, He's posted 170 as his first opening clean and jerk, but if he's as sensational as that in the clean and jerk, whether he wins a medal or not, I just want to see this man go to work again. This is who I want to show footage of to everyone that needs to learn how to do the snatch, because that is amazing. Not just the technique, but the speed, the passion, all of it. So they put the bar up a kilo, which has bought uh, Francois Etundi just a little bit more time. But he's very much round his personal best. This would actually be a personal best by a kilo. So, big question. Hopefully that bandage that's come unraveled on his knee does not affect the trajectory of the bar. Needs to get going. <laughs> Almost. Well behind, not for the first time, and he's left on 137 kilos. 142 kilograms now, 142 kilograms for Kumar Sivillingham. Well, the first of the Indians to come in, what 22 years of age. to hold on to that bar. Sorry, sorry, David. I just was just blown away by how hard he fought for that. So, off the platform, good buddies. On the platform, no quarter asked for, no quarter given. Satish Kumar Sivalingam from a weightlifting family in India. His dad and his father's brother, all involved in weightlifting. <laughs> One, four, two. Opening attempt, three white lights. Very workmanlike. 
very good work. This is, the double, this is the double-edged sword, having two people from the same country at such a close level. You know, you're pushing each other to get to this level of excellence, but it's also hard to come out here and compete against each other on the same platform. Such great lifting. We are really lucky tonight. Big cheer for Ravi Katulu. 26 years of age, moved up from 69 to 77 kilos, forced to do it. But when he won the 69 kilos, he contributed 146 kilos to the snatch. So, 77 kilos, shoulder operation which forced him to move up to 77. In front, didn't get the full extension. That was unexpected. Went up quite easily. You can see that it comes off the floor at quite a fast rate of speed. But then just threw it a little forward, like you said. He's had quite a weight, hasn't he, Jack Oliver? Yes, he has. But, you know, when you look at the figures there, it's only four kilos the increase. I say only four kilos. He's coming out to attempt to equal his personal best. And now we start to take a closer look again to body weight because Jack weighed in at 76 kilos, 39. So that, in a sense, could give him a useful little edge. But it's interesting, look, if you look at the weight of the two Indians, 76, 32, that's for uh, Sivalingam and for Katulu, 76, 35. That's an unfortunate uh, turn of events in the way in there. You just never know what you're going to face with your competitors. But at this stage, what he's got to do, Jack Oliver, is to make the weight. Andrew Callard in the wings. Yes, sir. I would love to know what he did in the back in between those two lifts. What a solid, solid lift. British coach has said to me he's in the form of his life. Yes, he looks great. 23 years of age. Again, a few games in his future yet. Asked him about his family. He said, yeah, I've got three brothers. I said, are they here? He said, no. I said, what about the family? He said, no. <laughs> well, they... one of his brothers is down in Australia, so we forgave him for not being here. Do they get too stressed out? I don't know. Now, Katulu can't afford to give away another attempt here. Wow. <laughs> that is a completely different lift from that first one. I'm wondering. So he goes second. Jack goes down to third. Savalingham is in first place. And behind on... 141 is Kachanka of the Cameroon. You know, it just goes to show it doesn't matter how much experience you have. That first lift can be so scary. He overcame it once he had that feeling of what it was like being out on that competition platform. I said, how do you relax, uh, Ravi? He said, well, actually, I'm, I'm not fussy. He said, I've got a... 53cc Yamaha bike, and I just sort of buzz around where I want to go to on that. <laughs> Clearly the guy has a need for speed, and he puts it into his lift. Well, it's not very fast, actually. I was sort of expecting him to say Harley Davidson, <laughs> and he comes out with a 53.3 pop pop. Oh, see. <laughs> now, going for big money, so to speak, in terms of kilos. This is uh, seldom, 143. And of course, this is to try and take the outright lead. Third and final attempt. So it leaves him on 138. I mean, that was a five kilo increase. Um, 143, his personal best was 135. So he surpassed that on the second attempt. So. He's still there or thereabout, but maybe his clean and jerk isn't as good as one or two others. So that's why he really wanted those kilos. Yeah, and he did nick his head. That probably didn't feel great because he had held on a little longer 
than he should have, but as we keep saying, it's so hard to let go of the bar when it's your last attempt and you just have that fighting instinct in you. So Jack Oliver in the wings here, 145 kilos, very determined march, he's very clear in his head about what he's about and what he's doing. 145 going for a new personal best and building up nicely. This is for three out of three. Only Kachanka's done three out of three so far. Jack Oliver making his platform. And, you know, given what he said to me earlier about the snatch, if he can produce this and then go into the clean and jerk, we are going to have some fun and games in the second half. Yes, he is laying some excellent foundation if he can make this lift. Close. Yeah, that was tight and he had, just, he well, he, he, knew, so he was there, but just the momentum. You can't do that with that amount of weight. I mean, he's done really well to put 142 on and he's, you know, still on the premises. There are not many lifts left here, so he shouldn't be left too far behind. He had to get so low to get that and it just was a little bit too much momentum in the wrong direction. So, Sivalingam coming on for India. Bar going to 146. He's really in the driver's seat here, coming out with her 146 with two attempts left. Well, he's the man who's competing here, and because of what Cthulhu's done over the years, he's sort of a little bit in his shadow, but sort of determined to come out into the sunshine. That's right. Oh, he's a good technician. A very good technician. And I like his victory move as well. You know, and he's proposed a 180 clean and jerk start, which is right up there with the best. In fact, it's equal heaviest. It's so crazy to think that just 30 grams separate these two athletes, and that could be the decider for who gets the gold. So, so Ravi now, of course, he's uh, a little bit heavier at 76.35, and he wants to sort of be on even Steven terms with his teammate. So that's why he's going for 147. Now, if he misses this, he's going to be left four kilos behind. And if and he makes this, he's hoping his teammate will not surpass him on that third attempt. Yeah, 142, of course, is what Jack Oliver's got. 141 is what Kachanka's got. So it's still pretty tight at the top of the board. Ravi Cthulhu, can he do this? Can he level it up? Answer, no. I thought he had it. He stalled it there for a second, but clearly, once again, just a bit too far in front. Very similar to his first lift. Okay, so Samalingam now with his final attempt has asked for 149 kilos, three kilos more. Now, of course, this would put him seven clear of Jack Oliver, seven clear of Ravi Katulu. I mean, this is what turning the screw is all about. That's right, I think three kilos is a very reasonable increment to go by. He repeats that second lift, that technique that, like you said, he's a technician. If he's able to deliver again, he's got this lift. Well, his first one at 142 was good. His second lift at 146 was better. Now, can he keep the gold run going? That's right, can he keep that momentum? His confidence is there. Exhibition we've had. I mean, Kachanka, unbelievable technician and explosive. But you've just watched three superb snatch attempts by a, a master of his cast, Sivalingam. I bet his dad's proud of him. I bet his dad's brother's proud of him. I think most of India will be proud of him. 
This is just, I just really would love to know what he would have been capable of today with a couple more attempts. And I love how he celebrates and yeah. runs into the arms of his coaches. Lives and trains in Patalia with the whole of the Indian squad, supported by the Indian Railways, but he assures me he's never driven a train. But there it is. Seven kilos is his cushion over his teammate, who has the heavier body weight. Jack Oliver in England at the moment in the bronze medal position. Then Kachanka, who's been so exciting. And look at that, eight kilos separating the top four. Then you go down to the Nigerian. Well, 11 kilos, depends how he does. And there, for Canada, Belon in sixth place at the moment with that 138 contribution from winning the combined B and C division earlier in the day. Super competition, this much to look forward to. to see. 